What's up, YouTube? This is Shane Got You 11. I'm bringing you another Madden 19 video, another tip, the ones I put out once a week. And like I said, I will stop in June until the new Madden comes out for the weekly tips, but I'll still stream so you can catch the streams. But for weekly tips, it will end in June until the new Madden 20 comes out, and then I'll be back at it once a week for you guys. Hit the sub button if you're not already a subscriber so you're notified for these future tips and streams and all that good stuff. In this video, I am going to show you how to properly attack the 335 Edge Blitz. And you know what? It is pretty easy actually one of the one of the best concepts actually besides running on the 335 is the halfback slip screen and by what I by the halfback slip screen I'm going to show you so they come out in Tampa 2 lots of times and you can either crash out crash in whatever but see what they do is they pit, they they blitz all the linebackers and then they'll either move it to here And they'll hide them right above, right in front of somebody, I'll say. So I'll leave it like that. And that's just how they usually do it. And sometimes, you know what, they they man up, you know, let's say they man up people. So then it looks like that. And then I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Watch how good this play works. And if you have even a faster running back or a slow or, or even a faster running back, not a slower running back. A faster running back it'll work even better now let's say they're gonna come after the running back and you gotta play over the middle because basically what they're doing with the blitzes is they're they're sending heat and they're sitting in soft zones and soft coverages and even if they're doing man coverage there will be somebody open because they're blitzing too many people. He's following the running back. I fire it there. If he's not, I have a dump off underneath. So the, the halfback slip screens are, are perfect, are very good. So like the trips one works. The wide trips one, any any of them that show like the the wide receiver that's on the side of the running back doing a slant play. Um, I like the wide trips one better because even though they have the running back going to the side of the slant, they um, also have the tight end and a flat and the middle slot wide receiver on an out route to burn it. So that's really good to use. Besides running on it, I, I, I enjoy running on it. And basically any run play out of trips tight end or where you have three running back or three wide receivers on one side, that's how you definitely attack it. But this is another way just to show you guys how to attack it with slip screens. Do the slip screens and they will not be ready for it. So any slip screen, but on the slip screen, all you need to do is have where the running back is sliding towards, slipping out for the screen. You need to have the wide receiver either on a slant, a drag, or, or a curl route. And then the other side, uh, like I said, it's better to have a flat and out route. But this is how you tack the 335 with slip screens. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section if you like this tip. This is Shane Got You 11. I really appreciate it. Hit the sub button if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you.